The North Wilkesboro Fire Department has been a fixture in North Wilkesboro since 1910. Here at North Wilkesboro Fire Department, we uh, are the first fire department in the county that actually has uh, three full-time engineers. And when I say that, we have engineers that work 24 hours and then they're all 48. We run medical response out of here as well as fire response. You have uh, qualified trained personnel uh, directly on the scene uh, that, that can handle uh, most emergencies and, 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 and save lives and, and get, get them uh, to uh, the hospital and to doctors. It's also a very busy fire station. Presently we're running a little over 700 calls a year. We're Back when I first started, it was, uh, say, anywhere from 60, 70 to maybe 100 calls a year. But with the inception of a medical responder program and first responders, yeah, that has increased the call volume for not only my department here, but departments all over the county. And at the North Wilkesboro Fire Department, they handle those calls very successfully. Presently, we're uh, one of the lowest rated fire departments in the county. Uh, we take pride in having a, a low uh, fire department rating, which in turn means lower insurance premiums for uh, especially the uh, businesses. This success is due in large part to the training each and every firefighter receives. You know, I was a training officer here for several years and trained these young guys coming in, and that's one of the highlights of my career. People that volunteer to be firemen don't need much encouragement. You know, you, you just have to direct them and they do it. Never was that training more beneficial than during the Forest Furniture Fire in 1963. You know where Melody Square's at? There was a fur uh, furniture factory there at one time, at one time, and it burned down. I was assistant chief of the department at the time, and we certainly had our hands full on that one. The fire truck laid a hose line down in front of the building and it burned up before we could get water turned on it. So, you know, it show you how hot the fire was even out in the street. Miraculously, they were able to stop the fire from spreading to other buildings. But not all calls are that successful, especially in cases where lives are lost. Uh, I know the first two was two kids up at McGrady and about the same age as my two girls. And I never did get over that. Uh, still bothers me. But, you know, that's part of the job. But for all the times these men and women are able to save property and save lives, the job of firefighter is well worth it. It's this self-satisfaction of knowing that you help somebody. 